Guys, Goddess Yamoshi is going to tell Chi Chi the whole truth about how she managed to get pregnant with Goku. But according to the beautiful girl Yamoshi, she did it with a greater purpose after all her first child appeared and he wants revenge after finding out about his father's death. Well, let's see that now, but first leave your like. We will reach 3000 likes as soon as this goal is reached I will bring the next episode in the sequence and of course subscribe to the channel. Well said that let's get started. In the 7th universe, currently in the 7th universe, more precisely at Son Goku's house it was possible to see that he was having a family lunch there, where Goku and his family were present including his son with Yamoshi who was training with his two brothers, Gohan and Goten who were surprised to see that their younger half-brother was so young and was already very powerful to the point that they both had to go all out and yet Gohan and Goten had some difficulties while Yamoshi and Goku's son was using his Super Saiyan transformation because he didn't think it was necessary to use his Super Saiyan God form at that moment and because he didn't know how to control his divine power completely. In addition, Whis was also present at the place as he was keeping an eye on the son of Yamoshi who had asked the angel for this. But it didn't take long for the training battle between the three Saiyans to end as they both felt Yamoshi's energy approaching planet Earth something that made his son become a little thoughtful as he could feel people's emotions and that of his mother was very strange goku said yamato did something happen for yamoshi to be coming to planet earth it seems like you felt something goku said when he noticed that his son had felt strange when he felt his mother's energy yamato said my mother has a very strange aura she seems to be worried and afraid of something or someone but this is strange since my mother is the goddess of destruction she shouldn't worry I have no idea why she is like this, but it is worrying. Yamado said as he looked at his father and then looked up at the sky again to see his mother arriving at the scene. Goku said, did something happen Yamoshi? Yamado said that his aura was strange and by the look on his face he was right, so did something happen that made you worried and scared? Goku asked as he approached the current goddess of destruction of the seventh universe and also the mother of his youngest son. Yamoshi said, unfortunately yes, what I feared happened and even though I thought it was impossible to happen, unfortunately it happened. Yamoshi said while looking at Goku and then at his son. Whis said, if it's about what you told me before, then he really is alive, isn't that right Miss Yamoshi? Asked the angel while looking at his goddess of destruction. Yamato said, what is Wiss talking about, mom? Who is really alive? Is Hiroki still alive or did he manage to come back to life? The young Saiyan asked because he didn't understand anything that was happening at that moment. Yamoshi said, Hercules is his older brother, he is alive. Before you ask me he is my first son who I had many years ago with Hiroki when we were still a couple. At that time I thought that Hercules had died and blinded by anger I went after those responsible for his death and eliminated them all out of revenge. But in the end I never got to see his body. But at that time I really liked Hiroki, so I believed his word. But I never thought that he would have lied, much less taken our son to a distant place, far from my reach. Yamoshi spoke with a certain regret in her voice as she never really imagined meeting her eldest son again after so many years. Yamato said, So my older brother on my mother's side is alive and now he came after you for revenge, right? If I had to guess I would say that he was manipulated by Hiroki to harbor anger towards you. Hiroki must have invented that you abandoned my brother and now he wants to see you suffering and as I am one of the most important things for you if not the most important thing, my brother will want to kill me, right mom? Yamato asked, already deducing a large part of what happened to her mother, something that she was surprised about, as was everyone, except Whis who already knew the extent of Yamato's special powers. Yamoshi said, well, I was going to explain what happened in my conversation with Hercules, but you already managed to summarize how my conversation with my son went. Yamoshi said, still surprised by the way his son was able to read his emotions. Chi Chi said, now that you talked about your other son Hercules and that he wants to get revenge on you, so was that the big reason that led you to sleep with Goku to have a child with him? Goku's wife asked as she approached with a serious expressive. Yamoshi said, yes, at that time I was having a feeling that something bad was going to happen in the future and to ensure that there would be a person strong enough to do it, I decided to have a child but it needed to be with someone strong, so it ended up being with Goku. Yamoshi spoke with shame because he was remembering his night of love with Goku. Goku said, I know that Yamato is my son, since Whis himself confirmed this, 
But thinking about it now, I don't remember anything from that night, and that's strange. Goku said while scratching his head, as he knew that Yamato was his son, but he didn't remember anything that had happened that night. Yamoshi said, I admit that I needed to have a child with Goku, but he would never stay with me, so I had to manipulate Goku and make him drink a very strong aphrodisiac drink and we ended up having that night of love. But he doesn't remember because the effects of the drink, which was very strong and from what I saw, Goku is weak with drinks. Yamoshi said, embarrassed at having to use a drink to manipulate Goku, while her face turned red with embarrassment as she remembered the scenes from the night in question. Chi Chi said, so this is the real truth, you got my husband drunk to have a child with him, so that your son would be strong enough to fight your other son? This is the craziest story I've ever heard in my life and this is a very good excuse for sleeping with other people's husbands. Chi Chi spoke with clear anger and mockery in her voice as she looked at Yamoshi who didn't care much about that. Yamoshi said, exactly, but I don't want my son fighting against Hercules, I'm both their mother and I don't want to see my children killing each other because of the mistake of that idiot Hiroki who just wanted to see me suffer, so I just came to warn you, that Yamato will stay with you for a while Goku until I can solve this problem with Hercules and since Yamato will be with you I will feel better knowing that he is with his father and you are strong enough to protect him and the rest of your family. Goku said, okay, I'm going to take advantage and warn all the other Z warriors and I'm also going to ask for help from Beerus who, by the way, is on a distant island that belongs to the Capsule Corporation. I'm going to warn them all to prepare for a future enemy that we will have to face. Yamato said, Mom, if Hercules is like his father, Hiroki, then he must also have a very powerful evil energy and won't be defeated easily, so how will you be able to defeat my brother? Yamoshi said, I'm going to go to the Daishinkan and get Excalibur again and this time it won't be Goku who will use it but me, so you don't need to worry about me. Wiz said, so let's go Miss Yamoshi. She asked the angel, already ready to go to the place where her father should be together with Excalibur. Yamoshi spoke telepathically, Goku, I don't know if I'll be able to do what I have to do so there's a good chance I'll end up dying, but if I die, take care of our son and if Hercules tries to get to you and Yamato, eliminate Hercules without thinking twice just like you did with Hiroki. Yamoshi spoke telepathically to Goku who upon hearing just nodded in agreement and with that she smiled and soon disappeared in a pillar of energy alongside Wiss. Yamato thought, I hope you don't die mom. The boy thought when he saw his mother leaving in that pillar of light. With this we will end today's video. If you want to see the continuation of this incredible story, leave a lot of like on the video and comment and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you another day guys.